What the bloody hell is that? It's a timepiece, sir. Ah, a carpenter's clock. I'm supposed to take charge of its return. Admiral Wager's instruction. <laughs> Does it work? Mr. Harrison says he won't know till he's back in London. Uh, what a monster. I certainly don't intend to have it in my cabin. And I doubt if any of my captains will want it either. Uh, what do you think, Lieutenant? Put it on the Orford, sir. Hmm? Captain Mann won't notice it's there. He will, if it's in his bloody cabin. Take it up, Tom. Easy. Then here she goes. That's the one. Well, the accent needs a bit of work, but you seem happy to be on dry land again. I've decided what to do. I'll take a sighting here in Lisbon and calculate Lisbon time on the voyage back. So you can start with a clean slate? I've purchased my own chart so that I may make my own record of observation. The wording's in French, I'm afraid, but it looks fair enough. Well, I wish you every success on the offer. Looks like you'll get better weather anyway. The best for all. Coming through. The best for all. My orders are the all up deck aft with the other stores. Sir, it cannot go down there. Need more light, room for it to move, and easy access to the deck. Sir, this is a very crowded ship. I'll see what I can do. Do you know anything bloody rude in Portuguese? Uh, no, sir, I'm fed at on. Pity. Norvler, Lieutenant. John Allison. How do you do? I don't know where you're going to sleep. We're pretty full. Hey. Mr. Wills. Mr. Harrison. With your permission, I'll bring my machine down here. That's the gun deck. I need space and light. There's no one else. Besides, the center of the ships will give it an easier passage. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Harrison, I am rather occupied at the present. Come on, now, you must get down from there. Come on, 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 you must get down from Thank you, Lieutenant. Give me your arm a moment, will you? Will you ask Mr. Wills to attend me in my cabin? The Admiral expects to weigh anchor on the evening tide. Very good, sir. Get this chair straight away. Look sharp. Aye, aye, sir. Lieutenant Norvler, was the port wine loaded according to my instructions? Uh, 70 cases, sir. All accounted for. Good, good. Mr. Wills! Who 
the damned hell is that? Mr. Harrison. We got a signal from Admiral Bulk. The bloody carpenter? Will you kindly give him my compliments and inform him that if he's going to wave that octant around on my ship, he can confine himself to the forecastle, where he may be less disturbing to members of the crew. Get on with it, man. Yes, sir. Mr. Harrison. Don't worry, Lieutenant. I, uh, I'm finished for now, anyway. What's the matter, Joss Kinnick? Ain't you never seen a clock before? What's it doing here? It's a marine timepiece. Navigation device. Help you get home. <laughs> How are you gonna navigate down here in the bloody dark, eh? <laughs> <laughs> because I can find where we are by knowing the time. Yeah? How's that? There's only one sun. Cannot be in two places at the same time. When it's dark on one side of the globe, it's light on the other. The sun passes over a given point once every 24 hours. If we can find out how long it takes the sun to get from Jamaica to Portsmouth, it's simple to work out the distance between the two. So where are we then? We're here. Boson's mate, I want all these hammocks slung. Hammocks up, come on, hammocks up. Your machine is a disturbance to the men, Mr. Harrison. It'll have to go. I'm not intending to disturb anyone, Lieutenant. Good. Will he be finishing soon, sir? And you'll have to lock up, you see. Hmm. Of course, yes. No, I'm, I'm finished for the day. So, uh, what time is it exactly? It's past midnight. Oh, dear. Do you know how to rid your bread of maggots? No, sir. You take a piece of rotten meat and you place the bread on top of the meat and count to three whilst you watch some maggots leave the bread for the meat and you pick up the bread and 